I'm Rita Lynn Gilman from softballpitchingtools.com. We're going to be discussing the J-band routine. Before you ever touch the J-bands, we have to do two sets of arm circles. Your arm, you must make a priority. Make time to do an arm program that gets your arm prepared for your throwing workout. So first of all, when we go forward with our circles, our palms are going to be down. We do 12 circles at nine different stages. So we'll do a very quick routine to demonstrate. Make sure that her circles are symmetrical, meaning as high as they are low and as forward as they are backwards. So arms are shoulder height, slight bend to her elbow, nice posture and make sure she's breathing. And she starts with small circles. And she would do 12. We're just gonna brief, make this brief. And then we go to quarters, halves, three quarters, full. Make sure she's reaching back. We are weaker in the back. Three quarter, half, quarter, a little higher, a little higher, and small. So this one there, quarter and then small. <laughs> okay, relax your arms and shake it out. When she goes backwards, her palms are up. Okay, and when you do 12 at each of those steps, that's getting the blood flowing into that shoulder and getting it ready for the J-band routine. All right, let's go backwards and small circles. Quarters. Halves. Make sure you're breathing. Three quarters. Full. There you go. Three quarters. Halves. Quarters. And small. All right, and now shake it out. So the J bands have nice soft cuffs that we put on the wrist. And elastic tubing has been used for years with athletes that are recovering from injuries and after surgery. Well, these same exercises can be used with healthy athletes as prehab to prevent injuries. And that is what we want, to prevent injuries and have a long pitching career. We have J-Bands Jr., which are thinner elastic tubing, and this is for ages 12 and under. And then the original J bands is for ages 13 and up. And we now have the hot pink. Monica Abbott now endorses the J bands, and along with her came the hot pink J bands. So KK puts each cuff on, and her shoulder is now ready for the J band routine. We're going to do 12 exercises. All right, the first one. Faces forward, she is centered on the clip back behind her. The J-bands can clip on a chain link fence or on some eye bolts that you put into the wall. All right, she gets into a deep lunge, hands above her head, over the head, forearm extensions. She will do 25 repetitions. Notice the hands stay close together and quiet and her triceps are staying quiet. Very good, keep breathing and make sure the motion is nice and fluid. She's not using momentum as she goes along. Very good, her posture's good, her chin is up. We like to use a mirror to let the kids watch their own form. Very good, all right, we will shorten that for our video clip. All right, relax. The next two exercises are stretches. So you're gonna hold the stretches for 30 seconds and you do two on both sides. Okay, either leg forward. The first ones are sideways extensions. All right, this leg is forward so the opposite arm is going to be stretched. Arms above your head. This hand makes a circle around this wrist and she's gonna pull on this arm with this other hand and lean sideways. She's not rounding, but she's stretching up. Nice stretch through the lats, getting that shoulder loosened up. Very nice. All right, we held for 30. Switch. Other leg is forward. Other hand grabs the wrist. There you go, we're going this way. Very 
Very good. All right, number three, diagonal extensions. All right, lunge either way. So she's going to be stretching this arm since that leg is out. We're going to take the J-band over her head. We're going to reach forward, cup that wrist, and pull. Very good. All right, play with the angle. See what angle feels good. 30 second hold, let's do the other leg. There we go. Forward first, then stretch to the side. Oh, that's gotta feel good. And relax. So we've done that in both directions. Fourth exercise. Feet athletic, spread apart, hands out to the side, forward flies. Go. Let the tubing go below your shoulders. She is centered on the clip on the J-band. We do 25 repetitions. If it's too hard, she moves closer to the wall. If it's too easy, she moves further away. During those 25 repetitions, if the fatigue sets in early, then it's too hard. She would move closer. You want the fatigue towards the end of the repetitions. We're not gonna do reverse flies. Duck under an arm, face the wall, back up. All right, let the, the cuffs are gonna move on the wrist so the tubes can be in front. She has a forward posture and reverse flies. Do not let the kids rock back when they're doing this one. We tend to be weaker on the back. This is excellent. Isolating the back of the shoulder muscles. All right, 25 and relax. So those first five are called macro. They work the rotator cuff as well as the supporting muscle groups around the shoulder. The next ones are micro. They target just the rotator cuff. So she removes the glove hand cuff. Okay. I'm also going to move the J-band down to about waist high. Okay. We're going to face that way first. Alright, so KK is going to make sure the tubing extends straight from the wall. Her arm is at a 90 degree angle. The glove hand is going to support that elbow so it does not move. And then we're going to go ahead and lay that arm down. And then begin your reps. Looks like you need to move away from the wall. There you go. The tube is awesome and straight and go. Notice her hand does not move. Go a little bit past your body mm -hmm, and back and a little bit more past your body. Facing this direction first, we are doing external rotation. All right, hug yourself, turn inward. She's going to back up. All right, lay it across. All right, step away a little bit and out. Now this is internal rotation. Work in the front side of the rotator cuff. Very common exercise that we see from PT. And 25. She now repeats the same two exercises from an elevated position. We raise the J-band up. Let's work the other direction first. Uh-huh. Her shoulder and the elbow are gonna be in line. So keep elbow shoulder height and in front of that shoulder. Okay, lay it down and begin upward. Once again, the tubing needs to be straight. Move back an inch, that way an inch. There you go, and go. Looks good, she's not scrunched up in her shoulders. Nice and relaxed. And look like a genie. And turn around. All right. Allow the cuff to move. And now, yep, that looks good. Tube is straight and down. This is 
internal elevated rotation. And 25. Okay, I'm going to move the tubing back to waist high. She's going to get wide. Oh, let's go on the other side. Reverse throwing. There we go. All right. There's a straight line out from the clip. You want to be about a foot to the side of that. And we're going to do reverse throwing. Okay, so our feet are wide, looking like we have just thrown overhand. She's going to reach out in front. She's going to extend high early in that motion. And reverse throwing looks like our windmill. Reaching to the front. Big circle back. 25 repetitions. And now, other side, we're going to do forward rotations, forward windmill. We're going to feel tension in a different area of the circle. There you go. All right. We now take the cuff off and reclose it. Put your fingers through there. Before she does the last exercise, let's stretch. Let's get into a lunge, and you do whatever feels good for your shoulder. So let's try this, and then just lean, and you're gonna feel a nice stretch through your tricep. Okay, and then watch this move across and feel that stretch. Yeah, and then take it back and stretch. Okay, so now, Great to stretch for your shoulder. Feet are wide. She's now going to complete the exercises by doing 25 overhand throws. She is on the side of the clip line, and therefore the tubing will not catch on her shoulder as she goes through. All right, show us overhand. Together, load overhand. KK, thank you. She is now armed by Jager. She has now warmed up to throw instead of throwing to warm up. Get confidence in this routine and have confidence knowing that you have prepared your arm for your workout. Go to softballpitchingtools.com to get your J-bands.